Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me again. You can see it's daylight this time. I'm not sitting in the dark on my way home late at night. Well, yesterday, the last thing I bought you a video, uh, just a brief uh, outline of the fact that I'd just come home from a meeting of some representatives of the local reform party. And as promised, I wanted to tell you all about it. What happened, my thoughts, and uh, you, you know, the, the whole thing with the evening. Well, I got the invite about two or three weeks ago. Hello, Andy, you've supported reform during the election campaign, interviewed Paul Webb, blah, 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 blah. How would you like to come along to the meeting? I thought, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's go and see what it's all about. When I got there, uh, I was uh, met by a lady who I've been in communication with, and she introduced herself. It's always nice to put names to faces and faces to names. And the very first question she asked me was, are you planning on filming this? Now, I was, well, I'll admit, I went in and I, I thought, well, wouldn't it be good to get something on camera? But I said to, I could sense a bit of uh, trepidation. So I said, well, I can if you want me to, or equally, if you don't want me to, I won't. And she said, well, I prefer if you didn't, because there's people in this room that are wary of being publicly associated with reform. That's a bit scary, isn't it? When you're talking about jobs, social circles, friendships, and all the rest of it, you know, being scared because of your political beliefs. Uh, I, I still can't wrap my head around that, but that's part of the part of the world we live in and one thing as well which was mentioned later on is worry about the uh, far left or any potential issues you know the venue was already changed from its original location to where it was last night uh, probably for that very reason uh, some level of discomfort revolving around a reform meeting but there you go and there's one thing that I noticed immediately when I Whenever I sit in a meeting and or a, a gathering, I always look around and get an idea of who was there. And the age demographic. I was the youngest person in the room. I could tell that by a country mile. It was all mid to later on in life, age-wise. And that told me something. It, t it tells me that the younger generation doesn't seem to want to engage. Doesn't seem to see this change this possible change we have in front of us is this the fault of their education is this the fault of their parents and then i got to thinking how many people actually stayed indoors and didn't vote at all in the last general election how many of those people if they came out could have made a difference how many people that were brainwashed into thinking they had to vote for something to avoid something else would have made a difference lots of questions well, as it stands at the moment, we have a small collection of MPs for reform in Parliament, obviously Nigel Farage, Richard Tice being uh, two of them. Obviously, more is needed if any change is going to happen from a reform point of view. That's a long way off, at least 2028, 2029, unless Keir Starmer makes an almighty clangor in the first place. But what the issue is, and what was identified very much last night, is there's nothing at a grassroots level. You see, the general election got absolutely slided on everybody. We're having a general election on the 4th of July. There it is. No time to prepare. No time to canvass effectively. No time to vet potential candidates effectively. And the mainstream media jumped on all of it. The fact they did as well as they did... Uh, is quite a testament to the way a lot of people are feeling. But back to the point, there is nothing grassroots level. In my local area, Kent County Council, there is uh, local elections coming up a long way before the general election in a few years' time. That's where it starts. There are no councillors. There are no branch offices. There are no local policies. There are none of these things. There's no chairman, no treasurer, no nothing. And I was very struck by the fact that the uh, individual who organised everything last night was paying for it out of her own pocket. She wanted to keep the momentum going. She was the uh, Kent organiser and pointed out that at least at this stage, not getting any funding. That's not good. If you're going to be a, a serious 
political influence, a serious political party. You need to get in at grassroots. You need to be talking to people. You need a place for them to come. You need people actively involved. You, you need to build up that local support going forward to a general election. Then you will make the difference. That's what last night was all about. It was about reinforcing what reform stood for, reinforcing the fact that we need that local coverage, reinforcing the fact that there are a lot of concerns locally. Hmm? I mean, I'll show you a picture of where I am right now. Just a very, this is the local uh, recycling plant, not far from me. Look at the state of that lot, hmm? right next to the doctor's surgery. That is just a small, small example of, you know, uh, the kind of local issues that matter to people. And just on the other side where I'm parked, there's uh, bungalows, which have probably got older people in them. Little things like that. Police on the streets. Uh, you know, respect. All those sorts of things. So Social respect. It's all stuff that people feel are not getting addressed and it's those things that need to be addressed and it's those things that were important to the people in that in that meeting last night getting to know what people want and getting that grassroots stuff in and one thing that really stood out to me as well uh, as a final thought people need re-educating that there's more to life than just conservative and labor and a lot of the younger generation that seem to be disengaged with it for whatever reason need to engage there's a very much I, I think uh, a socialist agenda a lefty agenda in a lot of the schools nowadays and we were discussing this last night and in that they're trained or, or taught to think in certain ways which might not be conducive to uh, you know, the way things should really be done around here. And that's something we need to work on too. But to summarise, grassroots level, branch offices, councillors, volunteers, working out what people want, working out what people wish to, to see and happen. And most of all, trying to re rebuild some kind of trust because a lot of the times politicians promise something, councillors promise something, and seldom is it is it delivered really and that's it there's going to be another meeting in the not too distant future i'm told and i'll try and attend that one as well and find out a little bit more and there's a conference coming up as well in the not too distant future so we'll see what happens but i'm in contact with them and uh, we'll, we'll go from there anyway thanks for listening any further questions Leave them in the comments and perhaps we'll have a read out in a day or two. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your, all your support. I appreciate it. Hit the like button. Share me on your social media. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.